Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of Azurine. Now this is a bit of a rarer crystal and it may look a little bit like Black Tourmaline, but it's definitely a very different crystal with slightly different energy to your Black Tourmaline as well. Now it was named after the Norse god Aegea, who is a god of the ocean. He shows the power of the ocean. It's kind of like Neptune or Poseidon in that type of way. Now, although the crystal looks black, under some light you will see that it's actually quite a dark green. And so it does work really well with the heart. And as we know, black crystals are good for banishing and removing unwanted energies. So this one I find is really good for helping to get rid of any un, um, emotional hindrance that's kind of dragging you back. So in this video, we're going to explore how to use this powerful crystal that I find has some really distinct purposes to free you from things that are holding you back, especially in the emotional realm and then look at what gifts it brings you as you have this newfound freedom. To me, Azurine is the premier crystal when it comes to cord cutting. Now, what do I mean by cord cutting? Well, there's this idea that whenever we deal with anyone, whenever we interact with anyone, there's obviously some emotional attachment that happens when we get to know our parents, when we get to know our siblings, our family, our friends, and so on. And this is sometimes depicted visually as being an energetic cord that links us between that and each person. And as we meet more people, we have more and more cords and attachments going out. Now, when these cords are healthy, they, are, you know, they help to develop understanding and connection and intimacy. But sometimes these attachments or these cords or these relationships that we have with people can be unhealthy and we end up feeling like we're being drained or almost like a vampire sucked all the life force out of us. What we want to do is we want to break free of those different attachments and sometimes you even hear the form or hear the term hooks where someone has energetically hooked and you kind of feel stuck in a relationship and bound to someone where you just can't break free and it really drains your life on a regular basis. This is where Azurine is absolutely amazing. It's great when maybe you've been through a breakup and you're still feeling heartbroken, but there's still that attachment to a lover. It's great for anyone who suffers from ang um, separation anxiety, or maybe you've found that from some past life incarnation, there's still some energetic connection to someone else that's not serving you in this lifetime. Well, this is where you want to grab this crystal. And what you do is you stop and you take some time just to be nice and peaceful and quiet. And an ideal time to do this is actually Samhain, especially when you're doing past life stuff because of that letting go of old attachments. Now, see that person before you, visualize them before you, and then visualize that energetic cord and feel that kind of energy pulsating between the two of you. Then, like a sword or a blade, take your azure in and visualize cutting that cord and seeing that attachment break free. Now, when we break free of attachment, it doesn't mean that we stop caring or loving for someone, it just means there's not that emotional pull anymore which actually drains or has a detrimental effect on our lives. So this is a really powerful crystal for helping you to do this. If it's a strong attachment, you may have to do it several times over several uh, days or nights or that type of thing, but this is great for really breaking you free so you're not hindered by other people dragging you down. When you think about it, it's a fine line between individuality and conformity. On one hand, we want to express who we truly are and be authentically ourselves, but in the other hand, we also want to be accepted by groups and be feel included as well. So there can sometimes be this real battle between how much do I, you know, without compromising my morality or who I truly am, how do I find common ground with other people? Well, this is where Azurine can be really quite empowering. Wearing it or carrying it allows you to, as soon as you feel that you're, I guess, jeopardizing who you truly are, it allows you to cut free and break that and stand back and, you know, I guess, respect your independence, but also allows you to feel comfortable, you know, finding this common ground and connecting with other people as well. This is really good if you tend to be a bit self-conscious or you start to question everything you say or do. Amazing if you have any body image issues and you feel that you're unworthy or unlovable, or even if you do have any kind of dis, um, disability or disfiguration and you make that feel like, oh, that doesn't allow me to fit in or that you you know physically don't look like the people around you. Azurine's really good for helping to bridge that gap. You will notice that it forms in these lines, and so anything that has these lines, like your tourmalines and your barrels and that, they ebb and flow energy and they bring this real nice balance in there. So if you're worried about how do I be myself, but how do I still fit in, and trying to find that balance is a bit of a struggle for you, 
try having Azurine around in your pocket, wearing it as a piece of jewelry, and overall its energy will help you really nicely to find that balance. The beautiful thing about Azurine is as we start to cut ourselves free of all those draining cords and hooks and attachments, and as we let go of that need to impress other people, as well as Azurine can help us with things such as the overwhelming demands and obligations of life, we can actually start to feel a lot more revitalized and also a lot more present in the moment. Azurine helps you with all of that. Now, uh, if you have problems with insomnia or you struggle to you know, get out of bed in the morning, this is great. Have it, keep it in the bedroom near your bedside table to really help you to get rid of whatever's draining you so that you're not replenishing at night or so that you're not falling asleep at night and so you're waking up in the morning feeling 100% vital. As you start to feel more energetic, then you're gonna be able to give more to the world as well. And this is actually a really great crystal for helping to raise energy. So when we're raising energy, when we're wanting to draw energy into our being that we can then project out for something such as spell work or creative visualization or healing. So what you can do is you can focus on your breath or visualize energy coming in, or you may be holding another crystal or have your hands on the earth, breath work, um, you know, dancing to raise that energy within you and hold your azure in. And this will actually help to complement this in a really powerful way. When you're then ready, you can then project that out to the world, whether that be for that visualization, that manifestation, that healing, or whatever that may be as well. Not only does Azurine help to amplify your own energy, especially when you're raising it for magical or spiritual purposes, but it's really good with other crystals as well. Maybe you're doing something with another crystal and you would like to give it a bit of a boost, a bit of an oomph. Well, keep a bit of Azurine nearby it, maybe in a grid if you're making grids, and this will be absolutely amazing for that as well. Because of its harmonizing energy, it's also really good when you're trying to get groups to unify. Whether you're trying to do a task together or there's a lot of disagreement happening, having Azurine around really helps to create that harmony and that unity. Azurine can sometimes be a hard crystal to obtain or to source, but you may actually have it in your collection and not realize it. Do you have any charite in your collection? Well, Chara is this beautiful purple crystal that is found in Russia, and you'll notice that there's bits of black in it. Guess what that is? That's azurine. Now, what always amazes me about Mother Earth is how she will grow different crystal combinations perfectly together. Now, we've been talking in this video so far about azurine cutting any attachments that will hold us back, whether they be emotional attachments um, or spiritual attachments through different incarnations and past lives. Well, Chara is my favorite crystal for helping us to work out what we want to do with our lives. Whenever you're feeling stuck, directionless, not sure which path to take, what your path of service or what you're meant to be doing with your life is, then you want to be working with Chara. It'll work really well with the crown chakra to help you reconnect with your soul's message and to re-remember why you incarnated on this planet. So you can see this combination of the azure and the cup, all the things of the past that hold you back and stop you from moving forward and char to go, hey, this is the way you're meant to be going. They're an amazing duo. So if you haven't got your azurine by itself yet, you can still use your char It'll help to, if it's got some black in it, like this one has here, it'll help to cut away all the past and the things we've been talking about and also help you move forward into the future and the path that you're meant to be taking according to your soul. If you like working with the angelic realms, then Azurine's gonna help you connect with a really great angel that I love to work with. His name is Jehudiel, or Yehudiel. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll have another link in there that we can watch another video and learn a lot more about him. But basically, he's an angel of protection. And whereas many people call upon Michael with his fiery sword, you know, warding off all the danger, Jehudiel is normally depicted or sensed being tall, slender, and often in black. Uh, robes and wings and that type of thing. I Some people will notice him by their side, I'll notice Jehudiel on my, behind my right shoulder. And he's kind of like that, um, like a bodyguard who clears us out, you know, clears different things out of our way that don't need to be there, just as Azurine does. Now what I love about Jehudiel is Jehudiel really rewards dedication to work and what you're meant to be doing. And that's what we've kind of been touching on over this video. So if there's anything holding you back, you can dedicate a piece of Azurine to Jehudiel and ask him to please help clear my path, 
please help to cut away any of these obstacles that are dragging me back or you know when I go into a new relationship the attachment to an old relationship drags me back or when I'm about to you know succeed at something in my occupation the worry about the past comes ask Jehudi or ask Azurean energetically they work really well together for cutting away all that stuff so that you can keep moving across and moving along that um, that pathway that you're meant to be going along the great thing about Jehudi is sometimes you're seen wearing a whip or carrying a whip so he'll whip your ass and get you along the path and even a crown which is about your spiritual responsibility so he really is there to help you stay loyal and dedicated to what is important to you and Adrian will help to carve the way through that and guide your way through so all you need to do find your crystal say Jehudiel I dedicate this crystal to you and whenever you need to feel Jehudiel's energy or presence or support or help ask either out loud or in your mind and grab that Azurine and feel his energy surround you and help you in whichever way you need help. When it comes to cleansing this crystal, I use the element of water. Being named after a god of the ocean, then obviously it's got a very watery kind of energy to it. Plus it helps to cut all those emotional attachments and the water realm is the emotional realm. So you want to be careful with your raw crystals like this one. You maybe don't want to place this in the water, but placing it near water, over a bit of sea water. You know, I'm down here at a little stream at the moment. I could place it on the bank near that as the water runs past it. And that'll help to bring this crystal back to balance. Especially if you've been doing some really powerful cord cutting or letting go exercises, then you want to cleanse that so that all that energy is diminished totally out of your life and rebalanced out here in nature. Now, working with the mineral kingdom you can also get help from the other kingdoms as well i love working with the plant kingdom so a couple of different ones that come to mind when i am working with uh, azurim the first essential oil from the plant kingdom that i love is celery seed now celery seed has a connection to the water it's um you know celery normally needs a lot of water it's dedicated to neptune that other ocean god as well and celery seed also helps us to remember our own magic and sometimes when we forget our own uniqueness our, our own powers we can get you know overly attached and overly needy of other people and that type of thing so celery seed helps to boot that now if you're really finding it hard to cut these attachments then you want to get the flame flow uh, flame thrower <laughs> push my teeth back in um your flame thrower of the aromatherapy world when it comes to cleansing and that is hyssop hyssop's like Woof, let's get rid of everything that doesn't serve you it's even been used to banish away the angel of death himself so hyssop is a great one to diffuse or inhale as you're doing that cord cutting stuff for that real kind of banishing and expulsion out of your life. Now of the animal kingdom, the animal that came flying straight into um, my life when I started working with Azurin was the sea eagle. So we think of that ocean, but then we think of liberation from the water and the, one of the great animals that, you know, obviously hangs around the ocean, hunts in the ocean, but then takes off and flies to the gods. Is the sea eagle so that's a really great animal to work with with azurin so sit down with your azurin inhale some celery seed or some hyssop essential oil close your eyes and imagine a sea eagle landing right next to you and if that sea eagle could talk to you what would it say allow that guidance to come through now astrologically azurin is associated with the planet neptune because well that water connection once again and the power day for working with azurin the most powerful day would definitely be your friday now, have you worked with Azurine? Maybe you've noticed that you've got it in your Sharat, or maybe you've just used a piece by yourself. I'd love to hear about your experience with it, and so would all the rest of our crystal loving community. Leave a comment in the section below so we can all learn from everyone's experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.